so this little guy is an orange striped ribbon snake. Um, it's probably one of the more common snakes that you'll find here in Arkansas. It's found throughout the state. Totally non-venomous. Although, when you first catch them, um, they, they do have a tendency to be a little bit feisty. As a matter of fact, um, I, when I first caught this guy, I was holding on to him in a bucket while I did some research for this video, and he climbed out of the bucket. She, I don't know. <laughs> hey there. It climbed out of the bucket, and so I rushed over to grab it, and I, I mean, I knew I was probably going to take one. But when I picked it up, it uh, turned around and poked me on the finger a little bit. It bled. It bled pretty good, and it stung a bit, but it was no big deal. This snake is pretty easily identifiable by the, the three stripes along its back. The top one is oftentimes orange, like you see in this specimen. And then the two stripes on either side are oftentimes yellow, or they may be an icy blue. Kind of like, um, if, you, if you can see up closer to uh, the snake's head, you get that icy blue color, just a little bit. This one, it, it looks like this one is just finishing up the process of shedding. It has a little bit left to go there around the tail, but... Um, they're generally pretty slender snakes. This guy's pretty, uh, pretty small, pretty skinny. And the belly, I don't know if you can see that, but the belly is usually a pretty solid cream color. Now, these guys are pretty closely related to the Eastern Garter Snake. Sometimes they can be a little difficult to tell apart. The main features to look for, to distinguish between an Eastern Garter and a an orange striped uh, ribbon snake are going to be found along on the face. If you look at this specimen right in front of the eyes you're going to see a light spot just in front of the eyes and then um, on the labial scales which are the scales that uh, border the mouth you'll notice that they're almost solid white whereas an eastern garter snake would have black vertical bars on these stems. That would indicate that this is an orange striped ribbon snake rather than an eastern garter. Eastern garter snakes are very common all throughout Arkansas as well. These snakes, um, they enjoy grassy areas. Actually, I came out here to, uh, to fix my lawnmower. It's been, been broken for a couple of weeks. So our grass has kind of gotten out of control a little bit and it's created a pretty good little habitat for him. Um, they do like to hang out underneath debris, so uh, maybe rocks or sticks, or in the case of this guy, um, I had a little bit of cardboard piled up that had been rained on, and when I went to pick that up, there he was, hanging out under the cardboard. So ribbon snakes like this, and garter snakes as well, uh, they generally, will eat small things like, uh, small soft things like earthworms and other invertebrates. Um, they'll, hey buddy, hold still for a second. Let me get a better grip on you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. alrighty. They'll chow down on uh, soft-bodied amphibians, things like frogs and salamanders. And they'll eat fish, small fish as well. Now again, um, these snakes are absolutely non-venomous. Um, they will, they will bite you. They are pretty temperamental when you first catch them. Uh, supposedly, and this guy has. Um, they, they calm down pretty quickly. When I first caught this one, man, he was mad. As a matter of fact, I told you already. He, uh, he turned around and me on the finger. As a matter of fact, something that I noticed then, and then I read about it afterward a little bit, um, when they catch their prey, 
they're not constrictors, so they don't squeeze their prey, but they're also non-venomous, so when they catch their prey, they just kind of hold on to it until it's subdued. Um, and sometimes when they catch their prey, they'll sling it side to side to try and kill it or whatever. And I'm telling you, that's what it felt like was happening when this guy um, felt like his, one of his fangs kind of got stuck in my finger for a second. But we got it all straightened out. No harm, no foul. So with that being said, if you encounter one of these in your yard, um, it's not going to hurt you. They're, they're good guys. Don't kill it. Just let it be. And make sure you know that if you do try to catch it, he's liable to turn around and, uh, and take a little bite out of you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sting, but you're going to live. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this guy somewhere else. I'm going to get him a little bit farther away from the house. He was just uh, within a few feet of the front door. And the kids, and my wife especially, really don't care for snakes. So I'm going to move this guy out somewhere and let him live his best life possible. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when to come back for more daily sustainable living. And if you're a content creator, then I recommend checking out steamit.com. It's a social media platform where your hard work and creativity pays off in a cryptocurrency called Steam. If you're interested, I'll leave a link down in the show notes. Hope to see you there.